are the genotypes of the offspring. So if you have like one with a certain letter, two with certain letters. Okay, so we have first one is one H, one big H, little H, three little H, little H. Yes, no? No. No? Okay. Middle, middle, middle. Right, middle, 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 middle. That's it. Smiley face. Smiley face. That, that was a pretty good circle. That was actually really good. Emo face. Emo face. Yeah. Okay. Team X. Alright, so one is seven or two? You're back up here, two tag two. Anybody else want to do the X? I think somebody's going to do it. Scott, freshman's on. I don't know. 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 And here's Neil over here at positive 1 above average. So yesterday with the empirical rule, we already learned that 68% of the population is going to be between within one standard deviation. But let's look at what our Z chart says. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to look up <clears throat> uh, Neil first. So now we add our 30 to both sides. That leaves what on the left-hand side? Five. Okay, good. All living things. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. Oh. Let's look at the other one. B said more than 492 seconds. What's, which one's more going to be? Above. So we click above, and in our spot we type 492. And there's our answer. 0.032. We round back to 4, it'll be 0.0329. Wow. Yeah. Good job, then. I got it. I got it. She told her, she told me. 